He didn't get shy. Are you ready for Royal to yeah. rumble? Yeah. All right, then Royal, come on down. You're the next contestant. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Class is wrong, Bobby. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. My name is Royal, and that's right. It sucks having this name because of one reason and one reason only. Everybody that I introduce myself to automatically thinks I'm black. I don't know why they get that impression, but damn. I can't tell you how many white girls I've looked down from that, but it is, you know, a great track record to have. I guess I like, you know, other cultures. Club was pretty interesting because I was walking down a couple of weeks ago down here to do a set, and um, I noticed all these little kids out in this corner building, and it looked like it lights out. There was nobody else there, no cars, no nothing. They're just over there like dancing in skirts and shit. Now, I thought I saw everything in Pueblo, but I know a cult when I see one. <laughs> and I know, like, that was probably either the moment that they're going to get ready to drink the juice or, you know, little girl probably on the train, like, who wants one? It's, it's uh, also interesting, too, because I noticed that you know, a lot of people that now weed's legal, how come everybody's still choosing to do meth out here? What the fuck's up with that? I mean, I can't tell you how sick and tired I am of driving down the street and playing the real version of Robert. <laughs> Anybody ever come to a red light with one of them? Grab your engine a little bit just to see what they would do? Yeah. <laughs> just honk your horn and I'm <laughs> Wake that fucker up real quick. Where you at, bro? Anybody ever ask directions from anybody down here? No? I mean, granted that you guys have the largest amount of bars per capita, but now that you have all these dispensaries popping up, you guys are so fucking cross-faded that even the weather's jacked the fuck up. I mean, I literally asked this dude for directions one time, and he was so messed up, he didn't even know where he was. I was like, dude, which way are you going? Which way do I go? Get the fuck out of here! He's just like, okay. It's like, really? Dude? Anybody have kids out here? Yeah. Yeah? Anybody that says they only want to kill their kids is a goddamn liar. <laughs> Those fuckers bump the shit out of me. I have two of them. I have a two-year-old and I have a four-year-old. And uh, it's interesting. I mean, I, when I go to express my emotions to my four-year-old, like the other day, I was over there, and I, I, we went to the store, and I told her, like, hey, baby girl, I love you. She just looks at me, and she goes, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's cool, man. Fuck you, too. I won't buy you that damn lollipop. <laughs> no! Oh! No, they're great. I mean, they just want to fucking pretty much have your soul. I thought my ex-wife was bad, but then I had a kid, and I was like, whoa! It's different. It's just a smaller little life form. I remember when my uh, son was born, and he was crawling on the floor, and I, I wasn't used to having kids at that point still. I was walking and running, and then, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> His mom comes in. What the fuck? I would love to teach my kid about a lot of things, but a lot of things, unfortunately, are not good in the eyes of the court. I figured, you know, I can at least try. But where do you where do you learn to draw the line at when you're teaching your kids about certain things? You know, like I know sex is one of them, but my kid is like my ten year old. He's fucking smart, and uh, he was the other day. He was teaching me about like some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Apparently he was just already on Google looking it up, but I was like, dude, what the hell, man? I didn't know you knew that. Apparently he found out all about, like, butt sex and shit. And I was, like, talking to him, and I was like, dude, no, check it out. I was like, I was asking, I was like, well, what do you think about it? He was like, oh, it's different. It's not what I would think. I told him, but you know what's great about butt sex is you can find out a lot about the person. For example, you're there, you're having a great time, you're like, Aww, she likes butterflies. 
She probably still lives at home. She's a one-nighter. Dude, rape in the world is like getting out of control. Would you agree? I mean, it's almost comical at most times, but at this point, I would like to fucking be the one that goes out there and sponsor to go, like, be against it. I go out there, get a girl, go home with her, like, make her think, you know, eh, possible. As soon as she passes out, I'll pull her stuff down, right? No means no. And I'll be smart, I'll put it in a permanent marker, come on. And I'll send her right back out into the world. Believe it or not, that's how I met your mother. <laughs> oh, man. So, I found out, anybody like really from here, like from this town and stuff? Yeah. Yeah? So you know about like all the fucking fireworks that are constantly shot off? Yeah. I mean, this is not just like for holidays, this is year round. I found out why they do that. Me and my friends were, uh, we, we got uh, dropped off at my place the other night. And across the street at Walgreens there were these crack kids and shit just sitting there. And all of a sudden, all we see is like, <laughs> Like, holy shit, what the fuck? I figured out that, truth be told, they do that because they were like, Oh, dude, we're out of sparkage, what do we do? Dude, signal for help. God damn. <laughs> Spark the dude. Great seeing that shit. Oh man, you guys are loving me tonight. What's up? Uh, so the weird thing about me is that I was talking to uh, to a showgirl one time, and she's and I was asking her like, what do you think I would be worth? <laughs> An awkward question. But then I I started to imagine myself actually being like performing, stripping on the pole and shit. I don't have the body, as you can tell, this is, you know, heaviness enough to mask what you can't see. But overall, you can see the turkey arms and the neck and whatnot, and you realize, this guy's really scrawny looking. I can just imagine my scrawny ass rubbing up on down on stage and looking like a dried out tomato or some shit. <laughs> I wouldn't be making any bucks at all. Uh, but uh, I also was interested in about the uh, extreme surgeries. And for me, I'm a bartender, so I would like to get the extreme surgery of having a vagina fucking under my armpit. It would be the best fucking place to have one, because the reason is, is because it would, one, be beneficial for my tips. It would feel good, and I would get the idea of where the missing clitoris really is. <laughs> Slide that bill in, bitch. <laughs> But, if I hate someone and someone rubs me the wrong way, I can just aim that shit <coughs> and shoot that shit right back at him. Anyways, what else can I talk about? Oh my god, so, from social media to TV commercials, even in sponsorships, sex, sex sells, right? Sex sells everything. So then why can't I sell myself? Why can't I go out there and get sex? I have the money, if I want it, they want it, here you go. <laughs> oh come on, you guys are going to have to laugh at that a lot harder than that. <laughs> you ever heard the one where I was on drugs? I still am, but I used to be too. <laughs> I don't know. Someone told me one time uh, how the uh, camel cigarettes were actually to be the camel cigarettes. They told me it was two old ladies sitting at a bus stop and one just decided to put one over her cigarette. The other one looked at her with the strange confusion to ask him, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, well, I won't finish the rest of my cigarette without it getting wet. She's like, wow, oh, that's a great idea. Let me go do that. She runs across to get to the fucking 7-Eleven. She goes in and looking at all this shit. This poor employee comes up and looks at her. He's like, what the fuck, you, uh, can I help you? Like, yeah, I need a condom. He's like, well, do you know the size? He's like, well, it's got to fit a camel. <laughs> Y'all sucking camel dick, dude. 
I used to think menthols were racist for a reason, but then now I start liking them because I figured, uh, well, actually I learned that it actually increases your high. Yeah. <laughs> if you actually smoke a bowl and then light up a menthol, whoa, your brain cells are killed. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna finish out with my last joke. So again, about my body, I'm great for a lot of things. For example, you can take me to a parade or concert and hop up on there, look at me, I'm like a giraffe. I can look over anything. Not to mention, with a body like mine, I can slip in or out of anything, ladies. <laughs> and the cops would never catch me. The only sucky thing I have against me is I can't jump because of my race. It sucks, but I can swim. Can I use that one? No, no one? Ah. Uh. Anyways, you people have been great tonight. My name is Royal, and you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. Who do I get this to? And I'm from behind the Fellow Pepper.